are you doing with that now? Wiring? You know what? It's too quiet for you, isn't it? It was. It's lovely, though. Lovely. I'm modding my own business. <laughs> you're modding more than your own business. I'd say you're modding that roller. Well, I took, I took a piece of old round stock aluminum, and I put it in the lathe, and I cut treads. Oh yeah. Right. Right. And then, of course, while I was at, kind of had to polish it. Kind of. Right. Then I put a bend in it. Right. So I said, this is not a good situation with this. I'd have to bend over to move that or kick it across the floor. And it's on rubber, so it's kind of hard to kick. It's made out of fiberglass. It's kind of good, good quality. But I wanted something similar to this, which I like, right? Oh, yeah, that's it. You know, because you can take and move it around, right? Exactly. Now, in the meantime, I did tell our customers when we first got it, this was a GPS antenna. <laughs> and that's how Edwards got to know how many hours was running on the machine. Hmm. And there was even a couple came here that before I used this, I'd go over and I'd look up there and I'd move it over a little bit. People say, what are you doing? I said, there's only one spot I can get reception. <laughs> <laughs> and they went off leaving it. Uh, but anyway. So anyway, this is what so you're uh, duplicating that? Well, not duplicating, because I'm just working on scraps of stuff that I have, right? Mm -hmm. So I got this knob. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to have a ball, but, you know, hard to I don't have any balls. <laughs> Spear balls are hard to come by. <laughs> so I just put that on there, because I had that, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a washer. Mm-hmm. On that, like that, mm -hmm. right? Right. And then I'm gonna put another washer, like that. Right. And then it's got one of those nylon nuts mm -hmm. to keep it from coming back and off again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just kind of time, just taking a little break. I'm doing this one, taking a little break. Pick it up and move it around. See, that's why the bend is in it. Sweet. Yeah. I need to seat now. <laughs> get over there and get that other roller you got. Yeah. The steering wheel on it. See? Yeah. So that kind of looks cool. Kind of. Yeah. Maybe the Taiwan easers. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you Chinese people, then there's Taiwan. Taiwanese or Taiwan, Taiwanesers. Maybe they'll copy that now. <laughs> yeah. Good, good aim. Yeah. Now, that right plumb is kind of off that way, but, but then again, the water drains down to the drain, so. Mm hmm. That's cool. That's close enough. Because if I had it like that, well, that meant I would have had to reach another inch further to get it, right? Which is not good. You don't want that. That's, that's wasted energy. <laughs> Right? We don't want to be doing that. We don't want to waste any energy. No. We don't want to waste what we don't have. <laughs> no. You can't waste it if you don't no. have it. So we have the sheet cut. Mm -hmm. We had trouble today with our tracker. Yeah, we had a problem. Old. We had big problems today with our tracker. I don't know where the problem is, but I'm blaming it. Well, not so much the tracker, but the hypertherm plasma. Hmm. Kept cutting out the breaker. Now that's a brand new system we put in. It's after cutting four or five sheets of quarter inch, mm -hmm. but today it would only go for maybe three or four plates and cut out. I'd have to pause it and wait for the breaker to cut down. So now I call the electrician, they come in, they're going to take it to 60 amp now to run a heavier wire and they'll put a 100 amp service in there for it. Wow. So if that do not work, it's the plasma. It's the plasma. Yeah. So, can we find out who's the plasma before we go through all of that? Well, I Electrical tried call stuff? tracker and there was no, no nobody in today. Nobody in today or something. I left a message, but anyway. So I tell it like it is, folks. We got to deal with it tomorrow. I did manage to get it cut. 
I, uh, I turned off the, uh, I paused the machine and then I let it cool down and then I started it up and it ran for another little while then got out again. The tracker didn't cut out and the programming didn't cut out. Just the plasma. It's the plasma. It's the, you know, you so. You gotta wonder if it's not that because I mean, if it was the power drop, it should have dropped on the all the motor sheets we did. Well, exactly. Now that's yeah, that's the problem right. that I'm having that with it. Problem. Now, unless I don't know, unless it got, unless the circuit breaker lost its resilience and it's cutting out sooner than it should. But yeah. anyway, the guy said, "Don't worry about it. We're going to come in. We're going to put in a hundred amp thing there and deal with it then, right?" So. Well, one thing about it, if it happens then, you know where the trouble is. Well, if it happens then, it's got to be the plasma, mm -hmm. right? But yeah, so these are all ready to, to go and uh, are all ready to be welded. But tomorrow I have, <laughs> we, we have Dave coming in, it was in the last video. Right. And uh, he has a spring, the forward spring hanger on his pickup truck mm -hmm. rusted out. Apparently the left side always rusts out around here on them. It's part of the chassis. You can't buy that hanger. So oh, the dealer really? said it's going to cost seven thousand dollars for a chassis. <laughs> oh, go now on. you got to know Dave, like, <laughs> right? Like I'd say D Dave was like a deer in the headlights <laughs> when he got that news. When he got that news, right? So I said, so he said, then he said, well, he can go into his U pick in the city, mm -hmm. and he can uh, probably cut one off a chassis. At this U pick place, it's a used car place, but you got to pick it, right? That's right. It's but they uh, said he's not allowed right. to use a grinder, and he's not allowed to use a torch. That's so that, that leaves two things: you either chew it off with your teeth, right? They <laughs> or they told him that you can use a reciprocating saw. Now, can you imagine? Wow! You're not imagining. I am imagining. No, no. It. Like usually, when you go imagining, you go. Oh, but no. you, but you just stood there with again with that pose. You've got a problem with my pose. You, you've been really struggling with that. <laughs> anywho. You're so, the only one with the problem. So anywho. Long story short. Long story short. I said, he's Dave, not going to buy the $7,000 no, I said, part. Dave, don't go, don't go in there and pay $7,000 for bracket. He said, I wasn't. So then I said, well, don't go in there cutting down one that's already either half rusted out or all rusted out. Right. I said, bring in the truck. And I said, we'll fab up something tomorrow. So. That's what I'm doing tomorrow, so this is not going to get done tomorrow. And we have wire. We have, oh, we have wire and we have an Amazon package, do we? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's have a look to you at that. Yeah, I was at the post shipping in some more packages. Yeah. And uh, I had that package come in. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah. Actually, a viewer put me on to this stuff. Uh, this is the wire for the... Oh, I love the smell of that. Oh, do you, you don't like the smell of that? No, that was making me sneeze. Oh, I love the smell of that. Yeah. So when you buy a machine, you got to put your own cord on it. Shouldn't it have a cord to be able to be plugged no, in? No, there's too many very... Well, <clears throat> most welding machines have their own cord, but they don't come yeah. with a plug. Hmm. Right? Wow. No, really. Lots, lots of things don't have a. Don't have a uh -huh. So a viewer put you on to that. A viewer put me on to this. Do you present? Remember, huh? Present for me. You don't want this because for you to own this, this requires you'll have to use it. And to use it requires you would have to go to work. You would have to actually get like a real job. You would have to go from upper manager right down to the bottom of the totem pole. And that's where Moi sits. That's wow. where Moi resides. I'm not going back down there. It no, took me I a know. Long that's time. why I said this is no good to you. This, is, this would be a total, total waste of money for you. It took me years to get where I'm to. I'm not going back yeah, now. Yeah, I know. So, anyway, this is made by Capri Tools. It's a four piece. Do you remember a while back we had our good customer runs Toyota in and all the bolts were oh, yes. the lug nuts were yeah. swollen up. Yeah that's right. Right? I remember. Well apparently this is the tool set that takes care of that problem. Okay? So you can get them off? Yes. So but so then here is one of Ron's nuts. 
Okay. Hmm. Well fit on there, Clearly right? Clearly he wasn't using it. No. So I, I, cause we threw them out, remember we, we ended up getting new ones. Mm -hmm. So it don't fit there. See, almost do. Right. But it fits here. Okay. Right. So it's a tool so you can get them up, obviously. But yes. What, what's the dude going to do on the side of the road? Well, he's going to have to buy this. Oh, yeah. Right. have to buy that. Yeah. So you don't fit that near for the other sizes, right? But the idea of this, now I know fellas are going to say, I look, I know what you're going to say, you can go and use a standard versus metric socket, but it don't work because with runs, uh, they were still tight. They were either too small or too big. This here is a situation where it's not too big, but yet it still won't fit the right size. Just, mm -hmm. just swollen up. So that's what this set does. See, it's, it's a double socket. Um, so if it's swole up and it won't fit the regular one, no. then it... Okay. Okay? So, you know, when we see the need to buy things, well, we need we need to buy things. Right? So that's what that is. So viewers costing me money. Number two problem. Number two problem. Let's go in. I got to go in the tool room. I got to show you something. Yeah, it's not in here. Come on. Number two Come problem. On. Stop doing that. Come on. I'm telling you. Come on. And somebody said last night they were picking on Kathy because you know we're all going to side with Kathy. Thanks a lot, buddy. She read it. That's right. And then, you know. That's right. That's right. And that's and that's very rude. Thanks a lot. You know, like, no support for me at all. Well, hey, you deserve it. You see that? What's going on? That's, yeah. a, that's a maggot. That's right. That's a maggot. That's a maggot, okay? Now, this is, this is all fine and dandy, but this maggot attracts too much stuffs. Okay, and the fellas are going to say, well, you could put a bag over it. But it won't work in this case because that's a ground maggot. Hmm. That's that's what you put on your. So you can't put a bag over your ground maggot. Well, if you put it over a ground maggot, you won't get no ground. Yeah. So the maggot becomes useless. Okay. So it's no longer a maggot. So now we got to go back out to the Amazon package. Now don't trip up. Be careful. Oh, like you're worried. Don't go out. Well, I am like actually worried. worried. You know, because there's stuff around. I don't want you to damage it. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So, so brings us back over to the package. And the package is this. It is a 400 amp maggot. Right? Right. Okay. And what does it do? It, it, it's got 400 pounds of magnetic hold force with a simple turn of the knob. Okay. And that's what it's for. And you can also put a ground on it. And you could. <laughs> you saw my face. I'm thinking you've become quite the maggot collector. I love the maggots. Yeah, I and you can so. also use it too for holes and stuff, right? So that's what I'm. That's what I'm. I'm going to do with this. See. There's a place there I'm going to put the ground on. Uh -huh. See? Yes. Let right. me see. See? Okay. Right? Right. And then, of course, you can take it off and shake the fuzzies off. Right. Right? Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a plate on it. Right. And then on that plate I'm going to put a hole. And then I'm going to put the ground cable onto this. Are you with me so far? Yeah, continue on. Oh, okay. Because you didn't look like you were kind of with the program, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought there was more to the story. I was waiting. See, I better not pull on that too much because I'll lift up all this into the table. <laughs> Why are you laughing at? That's right, you got to lift up the table. Yeah, so. So that's, that's what's in my Amazon package. That's, that's all. Of it. Well, that's yeah. part of that. So, what I got to do now, did that come with a sticker? See, that came with a sticker. It did. Sticker? A sticker. Nice. Not often I get a sticker like this. No. Yeah. It's powerful. 
Huh? And a bit of styrofoam. Yeah, a bit of styrofoam. Yeah, so we'll look at that later on. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wire up that machine. Right. And we're going to see if it works. Awesome. Okay. Are we mm -hmm. getting that done before closing, supper, see? Oh, yeah, there's only a few minutes to do that. Really? I got I got a plug for that too, I think, so over here. Oh, yeah? Well, I did. You might have moved it. Well, I guess I don't. Hmm. I thought I did. I got the round one. I got the one that goes on the wall. Yeah. I'll have to go look for one. I got one somewhere. Okay. Cool. Okay, I want to go on record. That was longer than a few minutes. It takes time to run that cord. That got to go in through casing, mm -hmm. through a wire loom, and it's not a split loom either. It's solid, and they got to run it on through. Then it comes out inside here, and then it goes in there. Huh? See where it comes out? Oh. I'll tell you, it's certainly uh, the electronics in it are some good. Amazing. It's done nice, you know? Yeah, it is. It's quality. Yeah. Empire machines and tools, but they sell good gear. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's all wired now? Yes. Yeah. Well, put it to you this way. I'm going to plug it in, and if you see smoke coming out, I did something wrong. Wow. What are we getting on with that? Look at this, this is pretty cool too. That's cool. There's a key there so you can lock it. So you can lock the electrical. Really? That is huh? cool. Yeah. Boy, that's beyond cool. I gotta give that a super cool endorsement. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah, you don't want anyone messing with the electrical. Well, I, one person. Yeah? Your mother. Can we get a bucket of water here? No. Why? Be serious. I am. This is my serious. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting worse. I came up with the perfect way. Now get up off your hands and knees. Been like that since I've been married. <laughs> well, you're laughing at it. It wasn't, okay, meant, to anyway, be, it so wasn't meant to be a joke. No. Give her, plug her in. This is going to be one for funniest videos. Can I stand back? Yeah. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. <laughs> we have lights. Okay, we got power. It's not turning. Might have to flick. Might have to you, you do flicky. Boom, 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 boom. Give her. Oh, sweet. She's a turtle. Neat, eh? That is neat. Yep. So the next video, when we get some 16 gauge, this pe people have asked what it's for. Now let me put down this. People ask what it's for, and it's basically for rolling sheet metal is up to 16 gauge mm -hmm. and also it has grooves here it has what grooves because it's a groovy roller see yes groovy. and that's for rolling rings with round stock yeah yeah hmm. why would i lie i have no idea i know that but why would i lie <laughs> Okay. And, and people might ask what this is for. Yes, this is yes. a safety, okay? Okay. So yeah. you're going along and something happens. Uh, okay, so you can stop it real quick. Now I have to hit the reset. Ah, okay. Good. It's okay. well built, isn't it? I like how smooth it is. Yeah, quiet. It's quiet, eh? It's not rough, jumpy. No. Yeah, I'm very pleased. Very pleased. And you know what, what I really liked about it? Empire Machine Tools, again, who are in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, they even tested it before they sent it out. That's right. They wired it and tested it. Good. Which I thought that was really, really well, really well done, right? 
it just goes to show they take the precautions, right? Definitely. So what we have is, well, you know what? I won't get into too much showing you how it works yet because I'm going to wait and, and actually do a demo with the plate. Yeah, true. Right, and then I'll explain what all this this stuff is for, mm -hmm. and that way you can hopefully not see me get caught up in the thing. Demo to come. And I'll come out put shape of that instead of the shape of that. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a few pounds in a hurry. Well, drop a few pounds in a hurry, yeah. Like a pancake. And crap all over the place. You'd have to clean it all up. That's the worst. And I don't know how you're going to do that with your hands in your pocket. There's people for that. You'd have, you'd have you'd use a shop vac, an industrial shop I'm vac. I'm up for management. <laughs> I'll find somebody for that. So we got this little mod. Then we have one more mod we have to do. On this? Yeah. 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 We have to build a gantry to go up over it and put LED lights on it. What? No, no, no. What kind you can't of a do that. Freak, are you? <laughs> anyway, folks, what it does is it, it rolls sheet metal. It can roll it up to, I think, 51 inches long. And it can roll it from, uh, I think the smallest it can go is four and a half inches mm. to infinity, I guess, you know. And beyond. And beyond, yeah. And, you know, and then, of course, what happens is you put your, you put your metal your plate in here and it'll roll and roll and you can go back and forth with it that's why it's got forward and reverse mm. and you can uh, you can even do half rolls like if you're making a just off the top of my head a PTO cover <laughs> people have asked me for PTO covers so I can roll like a PTO cover just like a half a Oh, right? okay. And that way you can go down over the PTO and you can have a nice little hinge on it so it can flick up and it can, you know, you can adjust your, or grease your PTO and, you know, protect yourself from getting caught up in it with this beautiful cover that we could end up making, you know, we could. And of course, when you roll your long one, you can, uh, once you get it rolled and get it fit right together, people say, well, how do you get it? out of there, right? Because now it's a full mm, full piece. Circle, yeah. Well then you, you come over here and this is why they call it now people said that's not why they call it a slip roller, but this is why they call it a slip roller. Pull it out like that. Ah. And slip the pipe out over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What I what I particularly like about this particular model is it's made in Taiwan. It's not made in China. The Taiwanese make great tools now. I mean, our milling machine over there, it's mm -hmm. made in Taiwan. I didn't want one made in China. That one comes with that stuff. You know, and I, a lot of good reviews on this. Bailey, who makes, or who, who sells good tools, sells this exact one, exactly the same, with their name on it, except it's about $1,800 more expensive buy from them, then mm. buy it from Empire Machine and Tools, Machinery and Tools. So check them out folks, you know, I'm only telling, I'm only passing on the information that I get. They never endorsed, they never paid us to, to, to do this, we paid the retail, we, we, had, we paid the asking price for it, we paid the shipping. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just that they were such a great company to deal with. You know, like everything was up front. When you asked a question, you got your answer almost immediately. Right. Same, the same, same deal like with Tracker CNC. It was yeah. that that sort of. And right. I mean, like we've been some lucky because the last three or four companies we've been dealing with, they've been great to deal with. Yeah. And I mean, in our 23 years in business, they all haven't been that great to deal with. But the last three companies that we've dealt with have been absolutely. Fantastic. Mm, that's right. Couldn't, right. E couldn't even make up a lie about them. Yeah. Make it stick. You know? Three for three. So when we see somebody that's really going out and doing a good job and for their customers, we try to bring it to your attention. Because we don't know who's out there watching this. But I can guarantee it. I put my stamp of approval on dealing with these people or Tracker CNC. So we have one more mod to do though. Oh yeah? I want to stick us. One? Stick us. Stickers? Yeah. So can we go get stickers before we close it out and we can show them after? 
Well, I'm not going to get nothing until I have some supper. She's only 5.30. You can't well, go over yet. That's it. You can't go anywhere yet. It's only 5.30. Well, I'm telling you. Just look. Upper wait. management. That's right. 10 more seconds. Well, it's 5.31 actually. So you're... Well, that's right. It's worse than we thought. I'm trying to keep you talking because that way I get paid time and a half. I'm on overtime myself here now. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> well. Well. I'm well. telling you. That's brutal. I'm just telling it like it is. Well. You can't squeeze blood out of a turnip. No, you cannot. Okay. And so, you can't squeeze... If there's no, in other words, if there's no money... There's no money to get. That's right. Your money is built into this now. Exactly. Yeah. And if I don't get supper, you don't get a sticker. You see, that's a very bad attitude. I'm going to tell you, them's fighting words. That's them is fighting words. You're going, to, you're going to turn off that camera. We're going to fight this out. Mm, okay, I'll is. take you and feed you. Will I get a sticker in? I'm not going to commit to nothing here. <laughs> you got no worries about getting the kidney from you. On camera. <laughs> okay, let's go get some stuff. What is it? I might be dumb and not stupid? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. I won't say it's perfectly straight. Well, he's on there. He's on. Good. Yeah. And the end. Yep, got one on that end. Got one over here. That's right. Now she's modeled. That's official. That's she, our that's our modeled. signature. <laughs> yeah, see technically it's a bit of an illusion anyway. Because Empire Machinery and Tools has theirs right in the middle of the thing. Mm -hmm. But I put ours in the middle of the panel. Okay. Right? Yeah, that's right. So, because if you put it over here and here, it would look way up. Yeah, so it's a little bit, a little bit off kilter. But then again, I'm a little bit off kilter. A little bit. Good bit. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Good bit. Anyway, that's it. Actually, we gotta. That's it. Hey, it's twenty after six. I know. Okay, we're going in, eh? Get some slopper. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for doing the, the stick us. Look, you gave me up. I wasn't going to say that I did it before supper. You did it. Okay. You did it. Because you know why? Why? Because you, you loves me. <laughs> I know, I had to laugh too. <laughs> okay, say goodbye. <laughs> see you folks, have a good evening. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.